Hey everybody, it's Mark Ebinger. I am a proud and just excited Young Living Essential Oil user. I'm excited to be here with you guys. Um, I'm excited to share what we know and I know we've got a team of people that are going to be here with us and they're excited about it as well. There's a lot of really good energies, a lot of really good things going on. We're going to be talking about Young Living as a home-based business opportunity. That's what we're going to be spending the next 30 minutes or so. We're going to cover some of the basics about you know, maybe a little bit about essential oils, a little bit about why they're important. Um, we're going to talk about Young Living as a business and why it's so awesome and so grounded um, and such a great opportunity for folks like you and me who are excited about wanting to do something that's positive. Um, and we're going to have we're going to hear from some panelists that uh, are going to talk about their experience uh, with essential oils and with the business. Um, so lots of really great information that's coming your way. I'm, I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy this. I know that you're going to enjoy this um, and you're going to have some fun with it. So uh, I'm going to get started with a, a short little clip that really kind of gets your attention. OK, um, and we're going to start right now. The world is changing faster than ever. What used to take decades is now taking years or even months. What you see right now is the illusion that people have had for many decades about the workplace being the secure place to, to work the rest of your life. For the first time in the history of our nation, our children will not do as well as us. We've seen our friends get laid off, we've been laid off, we've had our pay cut. People are overworked and underpaid. They seem to have less time and less freedom. They live under constant pressure. This is going to be forced. And so even if your employer loves you, you may, they may have to cut you. There's something wrong that on Monday morning, the heart attack rate increases by 35%. Technology is accelerating, job security is declining. It just doesn't seem like the old models of making a living are as reliable as they used to be. Every aspect of our lives, there's a better way out there, but we're still doing it the old way. We live in the greatest country on the planet, and there are a lot of people sitting around complaining and being cynical. Like Everyone's whining about this old model, and I'm like, why don't you leave it? Look at all this over here. Look at all this opportunity. Since so much of our lives revolve around our work and the way we make our living, many people are thinking there just has to be a better way. The biggest challenge facing our world today is not making money, is what are we going to do with all the displaced unemployed people? People are afraid that they're going to make the wrong decision. People are afraid of the unknown. People are afraid that maybe I don't have the skills. Hey, sports fans. Industrial age is over. It's dead. It's dying. That's why going to school to get a job is an obsolete idea. A steady paycheck is an industrial age idea. That, uh, that's a pretty powerful statement. You know, I've, I'm a, I was a police officer for most of my adult life, you know, and I spent my whole life teaching people how to do things a better way because when we get called out to somebody's house, everything's a mess, you know, and it's like you, your heart goes out to these folks, but we got to bring them through a better way. And what I didn't realize, of course, is I'm spending my whole adult life as a police officer getting a salary and trading my time for money and I got to my end of the end of my career, and I'm recently retired back in January. And uh, I was like, you know, the money, I love the job, I love the people, the work is, is good, but there's not enough money at the end of the uh, journey here for me to do the kind of things that I want to do, live the kind of life that I want to live. And I wish that I had found, you know, Young Living started back in 1994. I wish I knew about them back then. Um, you know, because I could have started this because I love the essential oils. I mean, I've seen what they do in people's lives. And I absolutely wish I had known about it a long time ago, um, especially the business opportunity that's there because it just kind of comes natural for me to want to share things that are good with people. Um, so uh, a little bit about my background. I am a retired police officer. I mean, I'm an experienced investigator. I have been around the block. And I, I say that only in that you know, if essential oils was something that was a bunch of nonsense um, and network marketing was a bunch of nonsense that I would have nothing to do with it. Um, but it's certainly not the case. Um, I'm very comfortable in that arena. I'm very comfortable with the products and I'm very comfortable with the people that I'm surrounded with that like to do this stuff as well. Um, I've been a member since 2012. Uh, I've been, uh, we have members all over the world and, and I really dig in to, I really dug into what the company was about 
um, the products, the people, the, the whole process of, it is so cool that Young Living isn't just that they buy and sell oils, they actually grow and they make this stuff from scratch. And I, bet I actually have gone out to a couple of the farms and actually participated in the process myself. Absolutely love it. Um, you know, for you ladies out there who husbands might seem like they're on the fence, you know, I'd love to have a talk with them because, um, you know, if, if, if they, I don't know if they can't agree, if we can't sit down and have a good conversation about that, I don't know what to tell you, but um, I mean, I've been there and I've done that and I'm not afraid of the hard questions. So absolutely love it. Now I focus a lot of my time on educating other people about it and team building, which is my true passion. Um, the mission of Young Living is really to get essential oils, which are good, into as many homes as possible on earth. And I love being a part of that mission, you know, experience what I've experienced. I believe in it and I choose to live it. I get up every day excited about who I'm going to talk to and who I'm going to help either with the business or with the, uh, the essential oils themselves or the, or the other products that are essential oil infused, which are phenomenal. Uh, a little bit about what essential oils are. They're, very simply, they're aromatic liquids distilled from plants and trees and shrubs and roots and so forth, right? Um, they've been around for thousands and thousands of years. They're nothing new. And we hear about the latest technology and the latest this and the latest that. Um, and, those, and that's great, you know, that people maybe want to spend some of their business opportunity time dealing with that. But when you have something as important and as time tested as young living as the essential oils, you're like, you know, I mean, if they're in the Bible, they, they go back even farther than, than the, the records of the Bible. Um, and they've been used for all kinds of things, supporting the mind, supporting the body. You know, they were used for purification of the soul and things like that. And we understand that in a little bit different language today, but they're really help with the body and, and, and the mind. And then, of course, we've really, Young Living is really kind of a pioneer in infusing supplements with essential oils because it makes them in my opinion, it makes them better. Um, and there's plenty of science out there. You guys can dig into that. We're not going to spend time on it. But they do something very, very special. They do a lot of things very, very special for supplements as well. Um, so the demand for essential oils is going through the roof. I mean, it is uh, over in Asia, over in the Middle East, in Asia, uh, Europe. They know about essential oils. They've been using them for a very, very long time. Well, America is a little slow to the party when it comes to that. But like everything else with America, when we get our teeth into something, we just, I mean, we blow it out of the water. Uh, we are just phenomenal that way. We dig our, our teeth in and we're, we're a great country when it comes to that uh, as far as pioneering stuff. And uh, really when it comes to the average consumer being able to get essential oils, we are taking it to a whole other level. Young Living is taking it to a whole other level and I get to be a part of that. I love it. Uh, the expected market growth is phenomenal. You can see some stats, and these are all available on the internet. But 6.63 billion is what's uh, you know the essential oil world market and by 2020, which is only uh, four years away. If my math is right, right, 9.8 billion. We're already in. Uh, no, it's two years away. It's uh, that's what made me what made me stutter. Uh, so we're two years away from the fulfillment of this projection. Um, the health-minded consumer is growing and growing and growing. We see that all over the place. I was listening to the news today. Somebody was talking about how people are converting parts of their homes into yoga studios and fitness centers and things that are more health-minded. So people are, they're understanding that our bodies are under attack by food and our, our environment and our water and on and on and on. And they're starting to do, they're starting to, to budget out money for that. And essential oils, I promise you, and when stats are showing you that that is going to be a, a big part of what is to come. Um, if you go over to India, those folks have been using essential oils for thousands of years. They, their culture, their, their parents, their grandparents, great grandparents, so forth, they know about sandalwood, they know about frankincense, they know about myrrh, they know about these types of oils and how to use them in their homes to help support them. And uh, we just don't learn that, we just don't know that here. And it, my job now is to be a part of that message. I absolutely love it. Uh, so it, with all of that, of course, you have the, the, the snake oil part of it that comes about because you have the people, that, the companies and the people that will come in and adulterate things and, and, and just get the cheapest garbage they can, they can put together and they'll sell it at your local market as essential oil. And that's really, it's very, very little, if any, essential oil, and it might even be the wrong essential oil. Lavender is a prime example of that, where they'll substitute lavendine for it. And you don't want to, you know, if you're, if you're doing something that, 
you know, you're using, you think it's for lavender and it's lavendina, it could cause a bad reaction and something that you don't want. So you want to go with something that will definitely help. You're going to invest your money in stuff that will help. But how about the right, right product and something that where the people who make it and distribute it care about that product. And that's what we find with Young Living. Uh, so I'm going to move on from that. So Young Living Essential Oils, just a real quick overview of the company um, because I think it's important. Um, is that they are a debt-free company, right? They're privately owned. They've been around since 1994. Uh, the founder of the company, Gary Young, who recently passed away, he had been pioneering essential oils for I think it's like 35 years or something like that. Um, it goes way back. He spent a lot of time learning overseas and, and bringing that stuff back here as true pioneer for us here in America with regard to essential oils. And he built his company around that mission that we spoke about earlier, which is get essential oils into every home on earth as possible because everybody truly needs them, right? Not everybody will choose them, but everybody certainly could benefit from them. Uh, Young Living has a global network of farms, and this is so important because they can actually control and monitor the production process and make sure that it's sustainable. You'll hear things like wildcrafted and things like, which is great and that's fine and it's applicable in some cases, but if you can create a sustainable environment where those plants can grow, natively in their own and where they're supposed to grow you can create that um, you know a sustainable environment for that then now you've got something you can count on and your people can count on for the supply of that and everybody wins um, which is a beautiful thing that young living does they really focus on that um, so they have hundreds of essential oils recently just added a brand new essential oil single i think it's the first time it's ever been um, cultivated and distilled as an essential oil and that's uh, Kunzia or Kunzia, uh, however you want to say it, out of uh, Tasmanian area uh, in Australia. How cool is that? Uh, great essential oil, but they're always adding new stuff and going out there and finding new stuff to get. It's, they're very pioneering that way. Um, so hundreds of essential oils um, and unique essential oil infused products. It, that's really taking your basic supplements to a whole other level. It's very cool. Why does that matter? because it allows us to market to folks, not just an essential oil. I mean, how often is somebody gonna use lavender? Well, you can use it every day, um, but your average consumer may not go through a bottle of lavender in a month, but are they going through basic supplements like multivitamins and you know the uh, omegas and you know just your basic supplements, you know, nutritional shakes, so forth, makeup. Uh, there's essential oil infused makeup, if you believe that or not. It's, it's phenomenal. You add lavender to the mascara. It's, it's awesome. It does great things for the eyelashes. Not that I use it, but I mean, you get where I'm coming from. So lots of products for us to market and they use, they've always used the, dis, the network marketing distribution model. So they're very solid on that, which we need to know as distributors because, hey, is the company solid? Okay. Do they have the supplies they need? Do they have unique products? Are they committed to the network distribution model? Because we don't want them selling to somebody else um, you know, down the road and then it, our business comes out from underneath this. I want to build this thing one time, not five or six times. Young Living is the answer for that. They're experiencing phenomenal growth, 800% growth over the last five years. Phenomenal. What's interesting about this is when the FDA came in and, and really started clamping down on what people could say about it, it was about 2015 and what we saw is that you know, Young Living started focusing on the distribution model, on the on the uh, the business side of it for the distributors, and it just took off like crazy. So, um, if if you're a person that worries about the FDA and what they have, you know, as far as the company getting in into a, a you know a, 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 t a tussle with uh, the FDA, Young Living doesn't do business that way. Young the Young Living is proactive in that area. They they want they work with the FDA to make sure that we're not violating any rules that puts our their distributors at risk with their business and of course the company at risk with their business. So they're very, very cool that way. The Vitality line of essential oils is a prime example of that. That's the white labeled bottles, right? I'm not gonna go into detail on that, but this is something that Young Living has done, the only ones to do it so that they could label those as internal use essential oils. Um, if another company has got them labeled for topical, aromatic, and internal, they're violating FDA policy and they're at risk for some time being shut down. And if you don't want that, you don't want that, that, that cloud hanging over you, be constantly worried about you know, your company not doing something right that's gonna get your paycheck taken away from you. So something to think about. Um, 
So yeah, I just kind of went through all that. I'm gonna move through that. Let's go to the first. I'm gonna talk about some of the product lines because if you're interested in maybe pursuing this as a business or something, you take it a little bit farther than maybe you've already done, um, or it's your first run at it, it's a good idea to know what kind of product categories are available to you. Um, and the Young Living Seedlings line is a phenomenal essential oil infused product line that is very, very safe for babies, infants, and mothers. It's a, it, and really adults too. I mean, people of all ages are using these products. They're not exclusive to a particular category, but these are labeled for those categories and packaged for that, uh, for those folks. Uh, and it's a very attractive thing to put a gift basket together for a new mom and introduce them to the essential oils and so forth. So this is a very, very great plant-based, non-harsh chemical, uh, wonderful way to introduce um, new mothers and, and children to uh, essential oils and to young living, young living in particular. Um, their skincare and makeup stuff, uh, I touched on this earlier, but it's the highest quality stuff that you can imagine. I imagine every company says that probably, um, but they, they really do go the extra mile to make sure that these high quality products are completely toxin free. No harsh stuff is going to be, you know, my 11 year old daughter can wear this stuff and we don't have to worry about it. They don't test on animals. And then, of course, like I mentioned earlier, some of this stuff, their makeup is essential oil infused, which is phenomenal. Um, weight management, this is a whole other product category, right? I mean, how many weight management places are out there? Well, here you have essential oil infused weight management products and look into grapefruit um, and, you know, Akotea and some other essential oils that are in some of these products and see what they can do to help in this healthy weight management category. Um, very, very unique. The stuff tastes great um, and, and people love it. It's easy to share something that you love, right? Um, home care products, this is a whole other thing. You know, you can clean your house with essential oil um, and your clothes, but you can clean everything with essential oil infused products. Um, their home cleaning, it's like anybody who gets started with a premium starter kit should add two things absolutely for sure. Number one is the laundry detergent you definitely need to have the laundry detergent because that the, the garbage that's in the, the, your basic laundry um, soap, laundry detergent, um, is on our clothes, it's on our pillowcases, it's on our sheets, it's on our blankets, it's all around us all the time, right? So why breathe those chemicals in that are gonna mess up our bodies? Um, and do please do some research on that stuff, but anybody getting started, started with a premium starter kit that my wife and I get in touch with, we're telling them, hey, look at the laundry soap and then let's change out your home cleaning uh, stuff because with one bottle of stuff, uh, you can clean the windows and the counters and the floors and the toilets and the bathtubs and everything. With something that your 11 year old or your five year old or your six year old, whenever you start having them do chores, they can go do it safely without having to breathe in the harsh chemicals that we don't want them breathing in. Pet care is another thing. We have a, uh, one of the folks that are gonna, that's gonna be speaking tonight is very versed in the pet care area. She teaches classes on it. Um, but we have uh, products that are specially formulated for our pets. Our pets do very well with essential oils. If you don't know that, or maybe you've heard something that scared you about pets and essential oils, please talk to somebody who knows what they're talking about or do some, you know, get some hard bound literature somewhere or look at studies um, and you're gonna see that essential oils, when they're good quality essential oils, are very safe and very effective and actually animals love them. Animals will come to you, not away from you when you're trying to help them with an essential oil. How cool is that, right? And what's funny is that some of the pet care products that you, or the products you find in the pet care line can actually be used by us humans and kids and babies and so on, right? Cool. Personal care products, this is your dental, your hair and your muscle and joint support, stuff like that. They have great shampoos. I mean, they just have everything kind of covered, right? And you talk to the ladies about it. One of the things when people get started with essential oils and they plug into the community, and if you're gonna be a business builder, you plug into your community and you have you know, people doing Facebook Live events and talks and posts and stuff, and they're talking about how to use these products even more effectively sometimes. Uh, people get creative on things. This is another way you can use it or you can add water to it and you can extend the life of it. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that's going on but the community is a very, very powerful, powerful thing. Um, muscle and joint support, I tell you what, you start looking into what frankincense and copaiba and peppermint and wintergreen and things like that can do uh, as far as supporting the body that way um, is a whole other ball game. So uh, it's a really, really good thing. So uh, we're gonna get into some product testimonials here. There we go, there you go. Go ahead, Nikki. 
Nikki Holland, and I've been using essential oils for a little over two and a half years now. Uh, I love them so much. I shared with everybody I knew, so I decided back in January of this year I would start doing the Young Living Essential Oils business. Uh, at first, I was nervous. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Um, I went to Mark and said, you know, I want to do the business, but I really don't know what to do. And he said, there's this mojo team that we have that will walk you through it step by step. So I got you covered. So if I can explain what the Young Living Mojo team is for me, that is um, like if you went to Ikea or Walmart or Target and you bought this beautiful desk in a box, right? It comes with this awesome little packet, uh, directions, a manual. It tells you exactly what to do. Mark Ebinger right here, he's the manual that will come in the box of your uh, premium starter kit, and he will tell you exactly what to do to get your business going. I am just blown away by the amount of confidence I have in my business, uh, and he mentioned that I'm a realtor, and you know what? The confidence is it's going over to my real estate business, too, so thank you, Mark, for helping me with that. Um, if you're looking to getting into a business where you can you know, get your family and your friends involved and spend 30 minutes a day, you can make some really good money. I'm blown away by the checks that come in the mail. I mean, it's just like Christmas to me. So um, if you're thinking about starting the business, do it. Do it tonight. Do it tonight. Get your kit and start. You, you have a lot of uh, team members here, a lot of community that can help you. And I'm one of them. I'd be glad to help you. And I want to give a shout out to Janet Clyde and Sarah Owen. Thanks for watching tonight. I'm glad y'all are here. So awesome. That's my testimony. Yeah, thank you very much for that. All right, so Liz. Um, so yes, I am a dog trainer. Been training dogs for 30 years. And so I've done a ton of fun things with using essential oils on all kinds of animals. Um, but I did want to share a testimony um, about my own standard poodle that I have. Um, he is 14 years old. And about two years ago, um, I have four young girls too. And so... Um, the youngest two are twins, and they can be a bit of a handful. They are always doing something that they shouldn't be doing. And one day, um, I noticed that my standard poodle was shaking his head quite a bit. And being the dog trainer and working in the vet's office, I knew right away, like, uh-oh, that's not good. And so I looked at his ear, and he has, you know, these big, fluffy, you know, ears because he's a standard poodle. And I saw that what they had done was they had taken a hair tie and they had put it around his ear. Um, it wasn't clamping it off at all. It wasn't like tied tight. It was very loose around his ear, but it was enough to make him shake his head, you know, because he's trying to get it off. Well, in doing so, when they shake their head quite a bit, um, blood vessels can burst in between the, the ear flaps. The ear flaps are like, there's two flaps of skin, and so the blood vessels can burst. And again, being working out of that office, I knew what that can look like and what the procedure could be. And it's a very expensive one. Wow. <laughs> you know, and I was like, oh no, I don't want to have to go to the vet and spend, you know, $400, $500 to deal with this because there's truly only one way that they really deal with that. And so I thought, you know what? I know I, I know helichrysum. I've used it successfully in the past. Why not? You know, why not just start there? I'm not going to rush. To the vet let me just try using it and right away i was seeing a difference and basically long story short three days later his ear was completely back to normal all i did was simply take helichrysum i i put like a just a drop on his ear on both sides of the ear flap not inside the ear but on the ear flap itself um i also used uh, oh gosh i'm forgetting it, the other one but it was mainly helichrysum and like I said, three days later, his ear was back to normal, saved me hundreds of dollars. I probably literally spent, helichrysum is a, not a super cheap oil, so maybe I spent $3, you know, <laughs> over the course of three days versus hundreds of dollars. He wasn't down, there was no downtime for him. He didn't have to go through anything drastic, and he didn't have um, what they call cauliflower ear. That didn't happen later on down the road. Oh. It healed completely fine. It hasn't come back. Um, and so, yeah, so that's our testimony um, about how we use the oils for pets. I use them a lot too for behavior stuff, and that's a lot of fun when I see complete changes in that. But I did want to, before I go, I just wanted to give a shout out to a bunch of my friends are here joining us, and, um, you know, Jamila, Jacqueline, Sue, 
um, Claudia, Velma, Christy, Caitlin. I'm so glad you guys joined in with us and checking everything out as well. That was great. You know, I was I was taking notes while you were talking, and I was thinking, well, how much stress did you just save that animal, your pet yeah. from having to go through by not going to the vet and doing all that too? Not, there's the financial stress, obviously, but then there's also, my gosh, you just saved your pet from that as well. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you very much for sharing, Liz. I really appreciate that, and I definitely made notes on that. So. I hope you all did out there too, because that's some really good testimonial. Liz teaches on this stuff, so I'm really privileged yeah. to be able to hear that. So thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, Lydia, I got you next. Let's see if we can. Perfect. So I was actually taking my landlords to the airport this morning, and my landlord does young living as well, who is, is kind of not an exact personal testimonial, but her daughter struggles a lot when she's having her cycle. And she had heard about how Dragon Time really supports the female body parts during the cycle. And I think Clary Sage does as well. I'm new to Young Living, by the way. Cool. I just started in May. I got my premium starter kit, so I've been using all the oils. It's super fun learning about how to use them and reading all these different books. But she has noticed such an incredible difference in her daughter when she uses Dragon Time like on her skin and also aromatically in a diffuser during that time of the month. And the difference she's noticed is just much better mood, so much more uplifted and not so down. So I think just smelling oils aromatically and the difference it makes in your mood, you know, just like smelling a wonderful meal that your mom makes and what a mood uplift that is. So learning about how the oils, when you smell something, it goes directly to that area of the brain is so fascinating. So that's been really, really cool to see and experience. All right, Jamila, are you there? I'm gonna... I am, I am, let me see. I just clicked ask to start. Let's see if you can yeah. pop in. There we go. Hi, everybody, excited. So one of my favorite products that I use is the Thieves Household Cleaner. And um, this has been very um, instrumental in our family because when we started with um, essential oils and Young Living almost three years ago now, my um, children, my older two, were dealing with respiratory issues. And so um, we had removed like the air, you know, uh, candles and all of that. But um, my son was still having some hiccups with it. And when we switched to the Thieves Household Cleaner, he hasn't had any, um, he hasn't, his, his flare ups have been very minimal. And so I attribute that to definitely with the Young Living Essential Oils and then the household cleaner. And now he can actually help clean his bath, clean the bathroom and around the house. And I'm a mama of five, so um, being able to have the kiddos help out and not be afraid that they're going to be inhaling this, um, chemicals or something detrimental happen has been amazing. And it's a lot, less money. You can make a bottle, um, of a whole bottle of Thieves Cleaner, and I had a big bottle right here, and this whole bottle for $1.50, and it can last forever, and then out of, well, for a long time, and then out of this container, you can make about 30 bottles, so it's definitely been um, a big um, game changer for us and our family. So let's get back to, I've got a little bit more to do uh, on the slides here. So we've heard some product testimonials. I'm going to move through this stuff fairly quickly here, but uh, sharing is very, very simple because we use the products, we use the oils, uh, we use whatever we're using and it works. And it's like, how can we not talk about it, right? Because we all know people that can benefit from it because we, we're human. We talk to people, we're learning about them and they're sharing their problems, right? And then if we have that kind of relationship, hey, well, why don't you try Dragon Time? You know what I mean? I've, I've had conversations with guys and I'm like, hey, uh, this makes my house a better place. Maybe you should try it, just saying. <laughs> That's about all us guys have to talk about, right? It's real quick. So the products work. We simply tell them where to go, how to get it. Uh, Young Living handles all of that. It's not like Mary Kay where we got to stock a whole garage full of stuff. And I'm not knocking on Mary Kay, but we're not a product distribution center as a distributor, right? We just send them someplace else and they get it there. Ship to their house and everybody's happy. So, and then they, they deposit money into our account every month. It's like clockwork and it's awesome, right? 
So how do we earn real quickly on how we earn? Because, you know, we could spend hours probably on, on, you know, details about the compensation plan and stuff like that. And I really don't get into all that kind of stuff because there's other places to learn that just not right here, right now. Um, but when somebody gets a kit, you get a bonus. Okay. When they order more stuff, you get paid more. And then when you get somebody else enrolled and they share, then they're going to make a little bit and you're going to make a little bit. That's how multi-level marketing works. That is a very good, very solid, very honest way of doing business where the people who are doing the work and the talking about it actually get compensated. It's awesome. And then of course, as you go up through ranks, you get more and more pay. That, that's really all that I spend on that part of it. What I do find interesting though, is this comparison about folks who go to college and I'm not against college, right? I'm not against being a professional. I'm not against medicine. I'm not against a lot of things, right? Because if I'm involved in a car accident, I want the firefighters there. I want the EMS there. I want, you know, put out the fire, get me to the hospital and get me fixed. And, you know, an essential oil is not going to do that. So I'm not a hater on medical, I'm just not. When it comes to taking care of myself, you know, I, fit, I tend to favor the more natural side of things. But I thought this, this whole layout here of how we're paid or what we can earn um, based on how much time we have to invest in that. And we know that for a physician's assistant, you're looking at years and years and years of college. Same thing with a registered nurse, not to mention, you know, all of the other stuff that goes with that, your internship and so forth. Lawyers, same things, doctors, all that. Um, it's a lot of time and awesome if they want to do the profession and awesome but it is one of those trade your time for money type of jobs. Whereas when you can build a residual, you can build an asset that will pay you residual income, that's how you can spend more time with your family because you're not having to like I did, was working 60, 70 hours a week so that I could, we could have the extra vacation. We could have the extra the kids camps during the summertime for my daughter. You know, we could have the you know, emergency happens and we've got the cash for it. That was trading time for money. And I've since learned that building a residual income with a solid company and a solid industry, this is how you can do it. And it's not overnight. It takes a while and it takes a certain amount of work, depending on where you want to end up. But you can end up at these annual income levels that I know people that are at these. It's not a fantasy. This this is I know people at these levels um, It's very real. And when it's real, then it's easier to participate and do it. So traditional employment, we know it's 40 hours a week, uh, 50 weeks per year, 40 years of work, right? I mean, I retired after 24 years as a police officer, but I was almost 30 years in the law enforcement industry with my Air Force background as well. So you're looking at 80,000 hours of cumulative work and I end up with a paycheck that doesn't quite cover what I needed to cover, right? It's okay, it was my choices, but I'm just telling you there's a better way and maybe we should start sooner rather than later. Um, if you wanna start your own business, you're looking at a huge investment. I actually looked into starting a franchise, you know, but you're buying yourself a job, it's a huge investment and, and you're working yourself to death. Hopefully if you do it right, you can build up residual income by hiring employees and managers that you can trust to take care of your business. But a lot of times it just doesn't work out that way. Young Living's business is, it's, you know, it could be 20 hours a week, it could be more, it just depends. It could be less, it could be 10 hours or five hours a week. It depends on what it is you wanna do and where you wanna go with it. But if you put in the time and you put in the hours, you're looking at maybe a four years of work. If you do it right and you're coupled with a good team that really supports and gets you, helps you get to where you wanna go because network marketing like any business and like any job comes with emotional stressors. And when you find yourself by yourself, it's easier to quit, it's easier to pull away, it's easier. And the only way to quit network marketing, at least with a good company is to actually, or the only way to fail with a good network marketing company is to quit. That's where some people will, it, that, that's what happens. They just, they, they pull the plug and they, they walk away, which is sad, but you wanna be coupled, you wanna be partnered with a group of folks that can help you get to where you wanna be. So, you know, you're looking at maybe 4,000 hours of cumulative work, and this is like an average, right? A very, very flexible schedule, which we need flexibility in our lives because, you know, things happen, uh, we want that. So, $160 to, is to get the premium starter kit. That's how you start your, your business, your home-based business. And then your monthly overhead, if you're getting all of the compensation uh, that Young Living has to offer, that you're looking at $100 a month. So, and, and then your monthly income, I love this too, because again, you know, someone is, is an executive and there's lots of executives out there. Um, you know, they put in some time, they're building their business uh, on a, maybe on a small scale or they just started. 
and they can quickly make $500 a month or more. Um, but you know, you got to put the work in. The, the work doesn't magically appear in network marketing. It's network marketing. It's not, not a lottery ticket, right? So, but this is just an idea of what kind of monthly income that is truly out there. These are the averages. Um, and I've talked to quite a few people that will tell me that those averages are actually a little bit low. Um, so, but anyway, those are averages. So how we help, I think I might've missed now. We got that coming next. Uh, real important that, um, teamwork um, is very, very important to your success, okay? Training's important, teamwork's important, support is very important. I touched on these a little bit already. Doing community events, being a part of something that gets people excited. Um, if you really wanna take your business to uh, the right, to an upper level, I mean, imagine if I wanna make $100,000 a month or $50,000 a month, it's like, if you wanna get there, you probably should invest in yourself, some personal development, some accountability, some coaching, just take it a little bit serious and make it a little bit more realistic, right? Uh, very, very important. So uh, what I wanna do is we already had one business testimonial with uh, Nikki. Uh, I'm gonna to get to Kristen. There's one business testimonial and then we're gonna wrap up. Um, so Kristen. Hi okay, everyone. Thanks, Kristen. So how to start, right? Uh, if you're a member already, talk to your sponsor. End of story there, right? You start, you continue that conversation. Um, we absolutely want you to go back to the person who brought you or told you about this event. Definitely get back with them because they put the work into you um, and then encourage them to, hey, I, I wanna get going and, and I wanna get plugged into a thriving community and then they'll get you started on that. If you're not a member, make sure you get back to the person who invited you as well. Uh, if you found us on your own through Essential Oil TV's uh, spot, uh, then just get with us, You know, send me a personal message or, or whatever, get in touch with me privately, and uh, we'll make sure that you, get, you find a good home um, so that you'll be well taken care of. Um, that's really it. I appreciate y'all's time very, very much. I appreciate the time that the team members put in to uh, bring in their testimonials and their enthusiasm here, um, and uh, please, Get going, there's no reason to wait. The, the water is great, go ahead and jump in. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up.